What is going on, y'all? Robert Sykes, KetoSavage.com, coming at you with another AMA, Ask Me Anything. This one's all about tracking and taking body metrics, uh, you know, stuff like the, the measurements, the caliper test. Before we dive into that, let's roll the intro. All right, so this question is brought to us by Joseph, and he asks, when doing body measurements, what is the best technique? Flexed? How should you stand? What position should your body parts be in to get an accurate? How to properly do a caliper test? How to ensure that every time you measure, you measure in the same spot in the same way for consistency? All right, so this is a very important question because a lot of people don't know how to do this, or they do it incorrectly. Um, and it's, it's very important to track these metrics, okay? So you've got your scale weight, which is important. I recommend tracking scale weight, but you don't want that to be your only proxy for progress. So having other methods to test for, such as your body composition, your measurements, your circumference measurements around certain body parts, um, using a caliper test, using an in-body, using a dex, these are all things that can give you more insight as to how your body is changing, whether you're trying to build muscle or prioritize fat loss, totally independent of just scale weight alone. So when it comes to measurements and testing body fat via something like the caliper test, how you do that can pretty significantly impact the results. And you want to be as consistent as possible to rule out any variables. All right, so if I'm taking measurements, for instance, and I, I would recommend using just a, a, one of those flexible seamstress measuring tapes uh, where you can like put it around you know, your bicep, your neck, um, it's also good if you have somebody else that can do that so you're not trying to do things and you can't see behind your back and you may have some inaccuracies there. So having someone do it, ideally the same person each time is going to be key. When it comes to measurements, you know, I try and get like a, from, from the feet up, I go, I go calves, I go, um, I get a measurement of my calves and I typically just do one side, but you can do both sides. Um, just be consistent with the side that you're doing you're doing if you are only doing one side But I'll typically get a calf measurement. I'll get a quad measurement. I'll get a hip measurement. I'll get a waist measurement um, I will get a, a chest measurement around my chest um, And then I'll get around my entire shoulders and then I'll get a neck measurement and an arm measurement and I'll typically do all left side, but you could also like if you are feeling that you have some imbalances, then you could do both sides to ensure that there's not a whole lot of disparity between you know, your left side and your right side. But uh, making sure that you're doing so consistently is very important. So for instance, I could go in one day and get a measurement uh, soon after waking up before I've eaten anything uh, when I'm cold, and I can, then I can get that same measurement at the end of the day, after a workout, I got a lot of blood flow, I got a great pump going, and those measurements would look very different. You wouldn't want to do that. So I typically recommend getting the measurements early in the morning. Um, like when I'm doing, uh, when I'm tracking everything, like in a prep, what I'll do is I'll wake up, I'll use the bathroom, I'll take all of my progress pictures then, without a pump, without any food in my system, I'll get my scale weight then, after using the bathroom, and then I'll get all of my measurements then as well. I'll take all, if I'm doing video footage, I'll take video footage then as well. The more things you can control for, the better. And if you're doing those tests first thing in the morning, before you have a pump, before you've eaten any food, uh, that's usually the best way to go about it. Don't try and take like a really hot shower and then go get you know measurements and pictures done because that will cause the blood to flush to the surface and you'll have a better pump even if you're not working out. Uh, so don't try and don't try and do things to skew the results in your favor. Just try and be consistent. Consistency is key with body metrics. When it comes to caliper tests, this is a really nice caliper. This one is like a $220 caliper on Amazon. It is the Lang Skinfold caliper. There's a calibration uh, bar that, that comes with you when you get this. It comes in a nice case. Um, the nice thing about this one, I don't know if you can see in the camera, but it basically, as you get a caliper test, there's this needle and it goes to the millimeter measurement, which you just then plug into whatever uh, skin fold caliper equation you're using. I use the Jackson Pollock seven point test. Um, there's, you can Google that and it basically has the seven points that you get a caliper test of and you just plug those millimeter metrics in and it spits out your body fat percentage. They make really cheap caliper tests on Amazon uh, that are plastic and you can probably buy them for like 10 bucks. Those are great, 
Um, they're not as nice as this one. You can splurge and get this one if you're going to be doing this a lot. But those are totally sufficient. The main thing with caliper testing is to also make sure you don't have like a crazy pump or have eaten a bunch of food, drank a bunch of water, because uh, that's all going to skew those millimeter skin fold measurements. So just wake up, use the bathroom, and then have somebody take those measurements, you know, first thing in the morning. Ideally, someone, the same person. So like for me, I'll have Crystal take those measurements when I'm doing my biweekly, you know, check-ins just so that I can make sure it's consistent as possible and she's measuring in the same place as possible because if you aren't measuring the same place with the skin fold caliper it's going to give you a very different result so having the same person measuring the same place is key um what are I mean we can we can go in a rabbit hole about like DEXA scans in body scans all of that uh, but to answer your question about best way of doing things typically the best way for all of those metrics is just going to be first thing in the morning without food or, you know, any water, uh, after using the bathroom and then like, un, like not trained, like you don't want to have that pump because that is going to skew things. Uh, but that's what I would recommend. I would recommend, uh, if you have a very specific goal in mind, like if you're trying to lose body fat, take these metrics every two weeks, for instance. Um, I would typically do every other Monday is what I was doing when I'm, when I'm in a prep. I don't take metrics as often when I'm in a building phase because things don't change as drastically. They do change, but not as frequently. Uh, whereas in a cut, if you're doing things consistently, if you're doing things correctly, you'll probably see gradual change every two weeks. So getting those metrics taken every two weeks is important because there might be times where your scale weight goes up, goes down, doesn't change. And if you're only checking your scale weight, it can be very discouraging to not see that move uh, as quickly as you would like it to. But if you're able to point to other proxies for progress, like your pictures, like your measurements, like your skin fold caliper test, you can feel confident that things are moving in the right direction and that you're doing things correctly. And that gives you the peace of mind to stay the course and keep doing what you're doing consistently. Uh, so again, hopefully that answers your question. Thank you so much for the question. You requested some cookies and cream keto bricks, so I'm sending them your way. For those of you that do not know how this works, there's a link in the description of this AMA. If you click on that link, submit a question that I then use and answer online, then I will send you some uh, free keto bricks with the flavor of your choosing. Um, so yeah, thank you all for checking in. Thank you all for submitting the question, and I'll see you next time.